Okay, so this is Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Um, I'm going to try to keep these clips pretty short, like around 30 minutes. I might go over here and there, depending on what kind of footage I'm getting and, you know, just if I'm keeping track. Um, but this is going to be Dying Light 2 playthroughs. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've already been subscribed, uh, this is definitely going to be part of my channel for a bit gonna try to make as many videos as needed uh, I'm gonna be playing through story mode missions majority and uh, a little bit of side quest here and there uh, depending on if I want like any exclusive content um, seems to be maybe a lot of talking in this game so that'll probably be a big part of it so we'll just see how it goes uh, again like and subscribe if you like what you see uh, let me know if there's anything you like me to adjust and um, without further ado So we're playing as the new guy, Aiden, or something like that. What's his name? Oh wow. Okay, hold on. Uh, I noticed something that I kind of want to fix. Maybe either I'm just uh, RP. Hold on, RPG. What's all this? Oh wow. Okay. Health bars. Oh, you can take the health bars off. Um, hmm, yeah, we'll keep that on for right now, see how I like about it. What I was looking for is the uh, motion blur, because I thought that's what I was looking for. <laughs> So far, so good. You still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. <laughs> and you used to be younger. I'm dumber. Okay, so I know I'm not the only one noticing that that's Crane Kyle's voice. Or Kyle Crane's voice. I said his last name first. My God. Kyle Crane. He's really not the same person. Okay, so. All right. My, this looks great. Okay, okay. So where are we going? I'm going that way. How am I gonna? Okay, cool. Oh, R1 is jumping. I totally forgot to play this game. Shit, man. You're still strong. Oh, wow. That was embarrassing. Let's pretend you guys didn't see that. Second time's a charm. Nice. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come. I want to show you something. Where we so this is Spike from Haran? You'll see. It's Jesus. incredible. So are we incredible. sure this is not Kyle Crane? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. How you been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know. But I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously. I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, yeah, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Yeah, judging off how the shade is bouncing off his Look skin right now. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity I like this go I can tell that waste. dark areas are gonna be... Uh, uh, no way. ...pretty intense. Look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here too. 
Okay, I can collect honey. No bee stings. Right on. I'm assuming the chamomile is up here. Nice. Yeah, this'll do. We're just gonna get it all, bro. You remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Okay, you received your first blueprint. Blueprints are plans that allow you to create accessories, consumables, weapons, modification. Using various craft parts, scavenge during exploration. Alright, perfect. Uh, this is where you store your craft parts you collected. Read the craft part description to see how used and where you can find them. Pretty straightforward. Uh, now hover over the medicine blueprint. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, this is a, like this design reminds me of like Far Cry for some reason. Come on, we almost there. I might have to up the brightness because I'm really afraid of what the night's gonna look like. This is it. Come on. Nice crib. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Hold on, how do I fight? Okay. I can't use the left trigger. All right. That's how I get in on well, anything over here. Use the senses. Use the force, Luke. Oh, jeez. Empty. Right. Yeah, when I was playing Dying Light 1, my senses Everybody were like here. my go-to thing, so... You'll probably be seeing me spam it a lot, because, uh... I like to pick up majority of everything I can pick up. We'll go to that later. It's gonna be important. Yeah, nothing in here. Oh, I should probably should have went the other way because it's activated a whole cutscene. What the? Hey, everything all right? Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Hmm. Okay. I just sound like you don't want to be my homeboy no more, man. I mean, but I don't really know you, bro. <laughs> Unless this is Kyle Crane. I just feel like I don't know enough about you and uh, Aiden relationship for this to be a, a thing all right what does this poster say investigate party uh, but by then the gre would have long since lost control of the virus I feel like if I take it off of performance mode, I don't know what I'm going to get as far as graphics. I mean, uh, core resolution mode, because if I put it on performance, I think it would just like enhance how the back my then. ledge gapping abilities and stuff like that. And 
That's what they called art? familiar ah uh, they think they're slick huh that's a dead island reference I like that so are these like universes connected celebrate the end of the world uh, they died on their own terms let's hope we get that lucky too <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs you check out the garden okay okay each other. I'm gonna be honest, how do we know that's them, bro? You know? This picture could be of any couple. And why would they just be sitting here sharing the same chair? I don't know, man, but uh it's not my job to ask questions, I guess. She was classy. Was she? This guy, Aiden. I don't know about you, Aiden. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. All right, is this is where I use my parkour initiative? Climb up here. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it, by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? 
Yeah, at least until night falls. True. <laughs> I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Oh, cool. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly, he knows something about Waltz. Villador. So I'm that close, huh? Hey, I, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. <laughs> Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Totally me to hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. <laughs> I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe... Well, I'm a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you. I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. Littering. Nice. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. All right, all right. So we got our first weapon. How do I, uh... Yeah! Oh, okay, it's already equipped. All right, all right. So we're sure that the main character is not Kyle Crane? Like, I don't know if I just have, like, whoa. I just take fall damage? I guess. I gotta pay attention for that, too, now. But yeah, you know, I don't know if I'm not hearing correctly, but this guy sounds just like Kyle Crane. I'm going downhill then. I notice that every time I, I'm like on uneven or uh, uneven uh, footing, I lose stamina. 
Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it does really make you think about how the rest of this gameplay is going to be. Tell me I missed this. Oh my god. You know, it's weird. None of that glowed up when I was like looking straight at it. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I swear it did not glow up. <laughs> Alright. Get a little more chamomile. Oh, machete. Let's go. A little more chamomile. You see that? How I'm like falling and the stamina is adjusting? I'm telling you, that. Later in the game is going to get me killed. I'm calling it right now. Yeah, I'm never going to search zombies again because that was bad. Part of me feels like I need to use my parkour abilities. So. Oh. Okay. Um, am I gliding up from here? You know, I don't know how far I can explore and how far I can't. Should have one of my first instincts, which was just climb up this way where this bus is. I just felt like that was too direct. Oh, actually. They'll wake up. Okay. So I'm guessing this is where we're going to use our sneak mechanic, so. Be very, very quiet. Oh my god. That scared me. Oh. I don't have a flashlight, my guy. Smooth. 
I like how the music changed when I got up there. Or when I went through that little scenario right now. Oh, jeez. That did not work. You know what? We're gonna we're just gonna cheat it because uh, I'm definitely not doing that again. Nice, man. Look at all that nature. You know? Is there something over there? Oh, now I'm getting curious. Nope. Don't let it distract you. We're only here for what we came for. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Now that I'm seeing that, I feel like there's different ways to get up here. That I just wasn't, like, paying attention to. Or maybe I do have to go down here. Oh, yeah. Tell me to do the kick. Hold on, I'm gonna line it up real quick. Get up, Playboy. L1. <coughs> oh, wow. What was it? L1 and R2? Okay, so. Yeah, it's not working. I'm just gonna beat you up. I'll have to do that later, because uh, I was about to die. Oh! Jeez. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh, and it's getting nighttime. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to be out here in the forest. I swear it was like. Because that's the block. Why would they tell me L1? Hmm. Okay. All right, so let's crouch on here. All right. I'm not gonna lie, that was scary. Okay, you reached level or you leveled up your parkour proficiency, earned a first parkour skill point. All right. Uh, high jump. Oh, okay. I'll be able to get to higher places. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. Oh, jeez. Nice. This guy's pretty athletic. You know, we had a lot of theories going on with this guy. Saying that he was experimented on, you know. And, you know, that high jump was kind of experimental. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. Oh. So now we're hiding, huh? Okay. Okay. Nothing sketchy about this, huh? My boy got boosties. The broadcast station should be here somewhere.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Whose footprints are those? Someone moved them not long ago. Okay, let's give it a try. This is it, the broadcast station. I gotta start the generator. dead. I need to connect it to power. Okay. Before we go back out there, let me let me switch my item. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, so you just press the right D-pad to switch. Nice. Power attacks, they deal massive damage, and you can knock you down when enemies about to use a power attack. His health bar starts blinking red. Dodge to avoid being hit. Form a dodge by pressing R1. Okay. Die. Oh. Swings, those see those spams? Yeah. Easy enough. Is that my health bar in the top left? You mean I was gonna die? Jeez. I could use a flashlight. <laughs> save zones. Unlock your first save zone, increasing your network of respawn points. All save zones are equipped with UV lights. Okay, additional save zones offer a resting place. Uh, change in day and night. And Aiden stash. Okay, same old, same old. 
We know what's going on. We've been here. Anything else I need to touch? Uh, do I need to close this? I'm guessing not. What is that? Area entrance. What is that? Oh, these are my DLC weapons? Yeah, we won't touch these till we get to the city. I don't want to have an over-experienced advantage. Um, we're going to take a nap. Wait here. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought twelve three four six? Mm, this is kind of depressing. We're supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry, they'll let us go soon. I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. We'll always find each other. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. Oh, I have to remember that? I'm pretty sure it was this, but... That's gonna be important, Say, I'm assuming. I'm on frequency 140.200 Listening to conversations. Zero zero megahertz. Hello? Aiden? It, yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? 
To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Aiden. Alright. Alright, well, we're gonna wrap things up here. Um, got some good footage. Um, really curious, you know, about everything that's going on with this guy. Aiden, aka Kyle Crane, for right now, because they, they sound the same. And you can't convince me right now until I get some proof. Um, but yeah, this was interesting. I believe this is a map of the entire game area. Um, I don't know where we would be on this map, but, uh, I'm assuming it's over here because it does say forest, but somebody's marked Lisa over there, so I'm not too sure what's going on. But, uh, yeah, this looks great. It feels pretty great. Probably going to take off the health bar and stuff like that because I don't like it. Um, it's not a problem, but, you know. I don't like it. So, uh, yeah, that was great. Um, gonna make another video pretty soon. Gonna try to keep these consistent with each other. Um, you know, make day-to-day -day footage. That way, you know, there's just not just one video up here. But other than that, uh, thank you for watching. And I appreciate it.